Welcome back to the third in my historical series, or what Lionel now referred to as the Heritage Series. Today I will talk to you about the oldest engine, or as Lionel marketed, as the first steam locomotive to operate in the United States. Lionel's third piece in what was now called the Heritage Series appeared in its signature catalog for 2009 and once again was a 148 scale brass and die cast model of the original historic engine known as the Stourbridge Lion. Lionel's exact verbiage per the catalog is Lionel Heritage Series takes you back in time. Lionel is proud to offer the locomotive in its most popular heritage series, an exquisite replica of the historic 19th century Stourbridge Lion locomotive. As part of the heritage series, production of the Stourbridge Lion will be limited to only original orders. As to the history of this historic engine, the Stourbridge Lion was a railroad engine built by a firm known as Forster Rastic and Company of Stourbridge, England, in the year 1829. It has the distinction of being the first steam locomotive to be operated in the United States and one of the first locomotives to operate outside of Britain. The engine takes its name from the lion's face painted on the front of the engine and the place of manufacture, Stourbridge, England. The engine was purchased by the Delaware and Hudson Canal Company for the amount of $2,915 and weighed in at 8 tons. Upon completion of construction, the engine was shipped to New York in May of 1829, and once in New York it was raised on blocks and tested. After the test, the engine was taken to Honesdale, Pennsylvania for testing on the company's newly built wooden track faced with wrought iron strips. The test run took place on August 8th of that year. When this became known, a local crowd of people assembled to witness this event. Convinced that the Iron Lion would never work, most people were afraid of this curious contraption would kill anyone who rode it. No one would take a run with Horatio Allen. So amidst the jeers and the laughter, he mounted the hissing lion, and the jeers quickly turned to cheers as the Stourbridge lion crossed the bridge and disappeared from sight. Now, many thought it would never return, but soon, with Allen at the throttle and riding backwards, the fierce lion screeched back into Honesdale, the crowd went wild, and a new era in commercial transportation had begun. Even though the engine did well on August 8th test, it was found to be too heavy for the wooden track and was never used for its intended purpose of hauling coal. So the engine was put into storage at shed at Honesdale. In 1849, the company moved it to their workshops in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. The boiler was removed and put to use and other parts were removed from which some were which were lost. In 1889 another company acquired the boiler and deposited it with the Smithsonian Institute along with as many of the other parts as could be found. Here it was reconstructed and stood in this form for many years in the Hall of Transportation. The Delaware Hudson Railroad Company has built a full-scale replica of the Stourbridge Lion from the original plans. It is on exhibit at the Wayne County Historical Society in Honesdale Museum.
Once again, I hope you have enjoyed this bit of history brought to life by Lionel in the amazing reproduction of a steam locomotive in O scale. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like and comment below. Also, consider letting others know by sharing this video. And if you have not seen the first two in the series, they can be found on my channel. Thanks for watching and stay safe.